Hey everyone, this is Light and welcome to part 2 of my Road to Legend RTA commentary series. And in this series, um, I'll just be playing for about 30 minutes, win or lose. And I'll try to explain my decision making and thought processes as much as possible. So yeah. And if you haven't seen the first part, I would highly, I would highly recommend checking it out because um, I do play Laia a lot in the first part, and yeah, she's pretty good right now if you want to learn a bit. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get into it. It is currently very early in the morning, so I'm expecting to see a handful of probably Asia server players which is a bit scary because they tend to be very fast but let's hope for the best okay uh, on first pick see Lily is Yuffie pre-band very weird pre-bands um see Lily is very anti-aggro pre-band see uh, Yuffie is kind of a standard pre-band and okay to be honest, I can probably expect this guy to pick Spez into me. But I will deter it by picking Sharon, and Sharon is pretty good in this slot because the defense breaks Landy and it prevents Arrow S3, so that's pretty big. Um, of course I'll first pick Laia. I always first pick Laia if she's available. I think her being a win condition is way too strong. So yeah, I hope this doesn't end up being uh, how to play Laia part 2. <laughs> Okay, AOL. Um, I have a cleanser already. That's really nice. Um, he's kind of playing a bit passively. So I can probably pick Lone Crescent Bologna pretty safely. Yeah, there's not too much learning her. So, so the way so the way this is, um, I am mega confident. Um, I am mega confident in my damage dealers, like Laia, Laia can solo this, Valona can solo this, so I want to pick a support for them. Uh, Bibbles is probably pretty nice. Uh, I don't really need a second cleanser. I don't really need a second cleanser, I think Bibbles does the job fine. Uh, defense break threat is always menacing. Yeah, let's just go Bibbles. So he's basically threatening to ban my Bologna because this shoe, I cannot solo DPS Laia if there's shoe. So he's most likely going to ban Bologna and I must ban the shoe or else my Laia will not work as a DPS. There we go. Uh, I want Laia self imprint of course. I need her to... So I basically can't die. Like on defense break, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna like strip landing and everything. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna shield. So I basically... Should not be able to die, but we'll see. I don't really see him killing me because it would require him to kind of go through like everything. <laughs> Let's just go on arrow wall, why not? Uh-huh, he's ripping his uh, he's ripping his debuffs early, sure, whatever. So that's actually really bad for me. Because now my sweet Miracle will proc on turn 2 and that means it will not be ready by the time my S3 is up so I hope I'm not silenced at that time. So yeah unfortunately my artifact is now out of sync with my S3 but it should be fine. We are just going to play this slow. And I am injured. It is injury landy. This is worst case scenario. Trust me. This is very much worst case scenario. So yeah, this is <laughs> mildly concerning. It was 18k HP. I am regretting my bootless pick already. Uh, I know only one guy on the ladder plays Injury Landy, but maybe someone cloned him. Either way, I'm deeply disturbed, but what can you do? 
I can't even tell I can't even tell if this landy is on Elbris, so we're gonna we're gonna throw out abilities and see what artifact he's on. Okay, I still cannot confirm if he's on Elbris or not, so we're just gonna smack him. Do it, let's just do damage to him. Even if he injures me, if he's low enough, I'm gonna I'm gonna execute him, so yeah, whatever. That's a really bad dual attack. Um oh well. Hopefully we'll be fine. If not, I don't know. Okay, he's pretty. He feels pretty threatened, so he's ripping us three. I feel threatened too because I did chunk his landy quite a bit. It's 18k HP. I am very much out of kill range, and I still don't know what artifact it is. My Biblis has not procced a single time, and neither has his Elbrus if he has one. And he's putting up a shield, so my Laya can't actually kill anything now. Uh, yeah, this is very, very bad. Unfortunately, we ran into a very strange player game one, but... Maybe it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. He has his buttons, whatever. Oh, uh, let's just keep smacking the landy, I guess, since we're not getting punished. Provoke you. Seventeen K. Radiant light. Landy has S three ready, so this is mildly concerning. Oh yeah, my villas didn't do anything. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, this is pretty much the only time where Vivlis is bad when, when you're getting cheese. So uh, I'm just gonna all in the landy. Maybe we can kill her. Cause like I do have damage from 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 this thing, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess we we're just gonna we're just gonna keep smacking her because she's not on counter set. So maybe she'll die. Let's, her. Let's just keep smacking her and hope she dies. Like she's not, she can't counter me. She's low HP. I have, I have a cascade. Let's just smack her. Whatever. Don't be afraid. She's dying. Come to me. I won't stand down. Um, <laughs> she should be dying. Okay. So yeah, let's keep smacking Landy. Screw it, just keep smacking Landy. <laughs> I'm gonna have my S3 again soon, I guess. Might as well rip this. I still don't know what artifact this Landy is on. I mean, what if it's Holy Stack? That'd be pretty funny. Just kidding, that would not be very funny. We're gonna keep pushing this Landy back. Okay, we're not. So Destina has her button, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, we're not doing it. Actually, Landy is pretty low. Landy is pretty low, but Airwall has S3. However... Oh, I'm on Buffalo, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, chooses to hold it. That's interesting. Let's see if I have my Laya S3. 
So let's push this Landy back, I hope. Oh, well, we did not push her back, but we have round two of Laya S3. <laughs> and this is Frenzy Thick, so I have a feeling this actually kills her. Oh my, it was on Holy Sack this entire time. That is a little disturbing. To say the least. <laughs> huh. Well, that is not so good. Shall we go? It is Frenzy 6 and she's taking a lot of damage. I don't think Arrow wants the S3 because all of the Okay. So we're, we're still hanging in there. Hopefully she doesn't salvo. Okay, the Athena has no buttons. We're <laughs> we're doing it. Careful, please move aside. I don't want to activate AOL S2, so we're just gonna keep as wanting this landy. Holy moly. I'm actually just fighting for my life, man. We're gonna we're gonna push you back. Mm, now what? Now this team is gonna heal. This is no good. I made it in the nick of time. Ah, this is no good at all. He just don't have any juice. Yeah, I'm left with no choice. On and AOL Satan. keeps ripping it. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much just dead, right? I do have my Laya S3 again. Beast of the West. I think Laya is about to die. Oh, he doesn't have souls. He doesn't have souls. So if he doesn't salvo, he's kind of doomed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well. Let's try to kill him, I guess. So we, we very much just need to kill him again when he respawns with his Fina. And he'll be at the bottom of the bar, which is nice. Okay, at this point, it's Frenzy 7. I have a lot of effectiveness, so I have a feeling that I'll be able to silence this with Fina. Oh wait, Bilbo's is a blue unit. That's not very good. I found Destina. Resistance, I see. We're silenced. So Landy revives at 38 CR. I have my Laya S3 again. So I think we're just gonna smack her one more time. Okay, she revived with 700 HP. I'm pretty sure my Biblis is gonna kill her if I rip it. <laughs> So she revived with 700 HP, right? So... Let's believe in Biblis S3 to do 700 damage. <laughs> it's Frenzy 7. Yep, oh, it, it killed. I, I guess we're... I, I guess we are in a pretty good position. Now oh, this was... It's been almost 15 minutes already. This was not the... So... <laughs> Not the best first game to to be perfectly honest. Um Let's just let's just kill you I guess. I'm very injured so I don't think I can kill this Zestina. Okay. Well, that did not play out at all. How I expected. Um, I so this is a cheese that one person on the ladder, um, water buffalo, is doing, where they go injury landy, and they bait people into picking stuff like Biblis, and then they just kind of win because it's a three v four. But unfortunately, this landy did not do too much. It's pretty. Eh, it's it's good tech, honestly, because Biblis is getting a lot of popu um a lot of popularity, so it's it is a good idea to abuse that.
Okay, fighting another emperor, and we are not first pick. Uh, not being first pick uh, makes me a little uncomfortable. I feel like first pick has so much power, but what can you do? Okay, very, very popular, very popular opening. Prepiat knockwall, first pick see Lilius, yada yada. I do the shuffle like 50 times a day. So they're probably gonna go like um, Candy Arrowell, or maybe Euphine Arrowell, or maybe Candy Cleanser. Okay, Arrowell plus Candy as expected. And we're just gonna go Lulica. And this is a very, very difficult spot because taking Bologna is scary. Taking Bologna is scary, but reality is I don't have many options, so let's just pick Bologna and power through me? it. If Elvira gets picked, I'll probably end up banning it because defense break is a little bit too detrimental. Yep, Gala is a very, very common pick with this draft. I'm probably gonna end up banning Gala. Euphine, okay, that's actually pretty good for me. I want to play Dark Corvus then. If you wish to fight me, determination will be required. So if it's like this, he's basically forced to ban my Dark Corvus and... He's forced to ban my Dark Corvus and the thing about Gala is that she needs Arrowwall to protect her, so I'm gonna ban Arrowwall. I can only do this because I know for a fact that he is banning Dark Corvus, so so the way this works is that um, Gala cannot kill. Gala cannot kill unless she has Vigor, but if he presses Vigor, my Lulica will debuff his whole team, which is why I banned Arrowwall. If Arrowwall has Bastion, it will protect me, it will prevent me from debuffing. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. And I kind of want to give HP to my team, but nah. Alternatively, he can just pass his C Lilius S3 and just S1, but Gala will not be able to kill then. And then I will be able to stabilize because this has no tempo. Gala is the only tempo you know. Okay, yep, he chooses the S1. Okay, Draglandy, fine, fine. Uh, to be honest, let's just S1 you. Good drag. Very good drag. Let's see what he has threes. This guy's probably gonna do like 25k damage. 25k damage, my Luluka procs, and then I beat him up. You should feel honored. Roughly, roughly 23, 24k. Fine. I'm gonna stabilize with this. And he's basically dead because Euphine cannot do this. Euphine should, Euphine Landy should not have the juice to kill my team. Especially because they're, they're just debuffed. We're gonna go on C. Lilius because we do not want C. Lilius alone with one of these DPS because she's gonna infinitely drag one of them, so we always kill C. Lilius first. I could have killed Landy, but I need her alive to feed my Verona. And I refuse to have C. Lilius plus um, Euphine alive by themselves. And now I'm just too I'm just too strong for the Euphine to kill me at this point. Um, he's gonna, he's basically gonna proc guaranteed, so let's just hit her. If she, if she counters, then my balloon is gonna count. Okay, well she didn't counter, but that's fine. I'm just gonna kill her with balloon. I'm gonna hit her to make her counter. Sure, sure. Then I bat back. So we for good measure, and you've done. I games like this is why I really do not want to pick Candy Yuffie together because it makes certain units of force band more notably Dark Corvus. Dark Corvus is giga strong against people who who like. They, they go panic mode and they just slam Euphine and Landy, and that's not the best draft usually. Introduces a bit too many weaknesses. 
We are once again the second pick against an Emperor. Uh, Knockball, AOL, pre ban. Yup, yup. Very, very common if you're playing C. Lilia. So let's just play Laya. Yep, we do this. We do this little shuffle every day, many, many times. We can expect Arrow Candy. We can expect Arrow Yuffie. It, it is Arrow Candy once again. So let's see how this guy plays it. I don't know how this draft got so popular. It, like in Jan, like popular drafts, they, they spread like wildfire, especially in Emperor. As far as I know, only I think only one person was popularizing this, and it spread like crazy. Uh, Solitaria is a little annoying. However, Solitaria does not do anything to Laia, does not do anything to Bologna. I am extremely confident. I can either... I can play... Uh, at this point, I can just slam Rowana. Slam Rowana, Gen Rylet. Easy. Because he will not be able to kill me, and my DPS will kill him eventually, guaranteed. He's considering banning C. Armin most likely. C. Lily's players really like to ban mitigation if they can, but I don't think it'll help him much considering he did not pick any damage. So yeah, I have double cleanser against Solitaria. I really like my position. And because I have Bologna, I don't have to rely on Laya to carry. So I'm going to give my Laya HP imprint to Bologna. And yeah, they're just sharing imprints. Come, I'll take your life. So 17k C Lilius. This C Lilius is probably not on Sweet Miracle. It's most likely on Proof of Valor. So I will. Hmm. Let's think about this. Let's just S3. We S3 because my Light S2 is going to reset this eventually. Like I have to, I have to blow one of my cleanses turn one, and I don't mind blowing that. But yeah, he's pretty much just going in on my Bologna, which is kind of annoying. But we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip my cleanse because my Lulika she just needs to take like two turns. Yeah yeah, so we're gonna she's gonna get stunned again. She's gonna get stunned twice in a row, but whatever. We're just gonna rip all our buttons and we're gonna keep her protected. She's gonna unstun herself anyway, so yeah. She's basically out of juice. As far as um, control goes, uh, let's try to provoke you. We do not get the provoke, but that's fine. Alright, Bologna, Bologna is back in business. Hopefully she doesn't get randomly stunned by Solitaria. That'd be mildly unfortunate, but yeah, should be fine. My Laia is ready in two turns. Attack down is very bad for me. So is this done? <laughs> oh dear. Landy's 18k HP. I have to be very careful. Landy is 18k HP. Which means I might not be able to execute Laya with her. Or execute her with Laya, yeah. So let's just focus the Lilius. So this one's on Proof of Valor, so I probably can't kill that one either. The time has Alrighty, okay, so my Bologna, <laughs> my Bologna is still, is still in trouble, unfortunately. She's gonna get unstunned. Yeah, she's unstunned now. She, she uh, no longer has attack down, which is great. Let's go here. 
I protect. That's what I do. Let's just keep wearing down C Lily's proof of valor. Bologna is going to chunk her for me and um I know that this C Lilius is now approximately 14k HP and this should be in kill range. I'm gonna guess this does 15k because of proof of Valder and Escort. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Yep, 15k exact. And now uh, we're pretty much ready to clean up this game. I'm well aware of what your plan is. Is that all you had to show me? Let's kill the solitaria. Rude, ignorant, immoral. Or it'll be These really close to killing her. Just enough. Night picks their battles wisely. Yeah, Arrow has S3 again, but my Lulika has S3. All good. Up oh, and he is done. Sweet, sweet joy. And let's play. Let's play one more. And see what happens. Wait, let me see. So so far we have one, two, three Laya games. I I guess this is just gonna be how to play Laya Part Two. But that's not a bad thing. I think Laya, I think Laya right now is the most consistent win condition and it's very important to know how to play her if you want to, if you want to do well on the ladder. Well, I'll, um, I'll scroll through my stats after, after this game, but I have a, I have a, I have a album with the stats also. But I'll scroll through like Laya, the Armin and all that. Okay, um, I know it means- so being the very seasoned RTA player I am, I already know exactly what these previews mean. I am probably chosen. going to get cleaved with ML Ken, Ahmed, Flan, etc. So let's see what happens. Knowing that, I want to pick units that are on immunity. The stage belongs to everyone. You challenge me. Bye. Okay, never mind. This is a huge mix-up, and <laughs> that is kind of bad for me. I'm being threatened a big time. Um, let's go Bellion because Bellion is kind of good here. Like it denies Soul Burn, so that's pretty huge. This is gonna end up being quite the clown game, to be perfectly honest. And let's get a let's 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 just pick Spectre Denethia. We're gonna force this guy to try to cleave us. Issue is, I'm kind of stuck picking another damage dealer because my team currently, if Stenny gets banned, I will not be able to kill this Laya, so that is kind of bad. Um, right now, a Ravi is looking kind of good. I don't have a cleanser, so Varsiri is also a little menace. Uh. How I am not sure how we got here. So I guess this guy is just relegating himself to uh, banning my... My, 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 my Velian, I, I guess. So let's just pick damage. Well, let's let's just pick Ed so he can't even so he can't even press his Priceria S3. And we need to ban Ludwig, of course. 
So yeah, he can't press his buttons. What's more low? He can't press by serious. So I'm not sure how he is going to kill me. <laughs> but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be completely dead. Who knows? And Cleaver games are typically very unpredictable. Are you going to provide some entertainment? Rhyseria is not on Guiding Light. I think he's just going for kill. Push back Karina, very, very normal. Yep. I I think he's just going to rip it. This Rhyseria is probably on a damage artifact and it's gonna do. I doubt it will do enough damage, but uh, um, I'm ready to be proven wrong. Oh boy, it's got, it's got double buff. Can I see a soul burn? Oh boy. Oh boy, he is not holding back. Good chunk of damage on Laia. Um, I think he's just dead. Let's just finish you off, guaranteed. Let's um, do damage to you. My Ed is full damage, so this is gonna hurt a lot. Huh. Well, he's dead. That was not the best clue, to be perfectly honest. Uh, okay, honestly, I'm not very satisfied, so let's just play one more. That game was a little low quality. So let, let's just play one more. Hopefully it's not. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we won't be playing a 15 minute Laya game. But yeah, let's see. Okay, so we are not allowed to play Laia. Um, I'm not sure what these pre bans mean, to be honest. This guy might be playing standard. This guy might be playing very aggro. I am not sure. But uh, there's not really any safe pick. Okay. So let's just slam C Lily so we have some speed. I okay, he's probably playing arrow while Landy. What is going on here? Step back. Um Well, I guess I should pick a unit that's not affected by Rowana. I am not sure who that will be yet. There is not really any good neutral pick here considering <laughs> considering Yuffie and his band and Landy I don't really want to pick so let's just I try playing Shu. Let's try playing Shu plus some kind of tempo cleanser. Screw it, let's just play Sharon. I'm kind of... <laughs> Uh, if it's like this, I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused. Like normally you'd want to slam land. Oh, okay. So this guy's just setting up his landy. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, annoying thing is that I cannot pick Biblis, and I cannot pick Bologna, but I can pick Gala. It feels amazing. And then what? I can definitely pick Gala, and then what else can I pick? I can definitely pick Dark Corvus. So let's, um, let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, if he's picking this, I guess he is um, not going to ban my Gala. Educated guess, he will not be banning my Gala if he's picking Rimuru, and he's gonna let. 
Yeah, yep, yep, okay. So nothing crazy. So my my kill target is arrow well. Let's pray that she's not on holy sec. Come. I'll take your life. We do not see her artifact. There is a very, very high chance that she's holy sec. In which case we're gonna try to push her back so we can just double kill her. Okay, she's just resisting everything. Uh all good. I expect her to respawn, but Those luckily we have dreams. Wind Rider, so she won't be able to stun me. Usually meet a bitter <laughs> okay, well we do not have Wind Rider anymore. That's mildly annoying. If he salvos, my gallo is good as dead. If he, uh, yeah, this is not looking good. <laughs> I made it in the nick of time. I'll make you taste despair. Um, if we drag you, it might be okay. Um, she should die. Okay. Anymore. May the light free you from despair. Obey if you wish to. Luckily, we lapped again. I see fear in your eyes. I'll be with you. Let's hope we can get close to killing. This is looking pretty bad. Unfortunately, I got baited into picking Gala. So, yeah. Oh. Oh my god, wait, if I kill her here, that's gonna be really good. Oh, nice. Oh. Mandy has S3 ready, unfortunately. I guess we just lose. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But... Yeah, what can you do? Let's just play more. Let's just make this an hour-long segment. That was not a very satisfying game at all. Okay, it looks like we have a Flitica Cleaver. Let's uh, let's try our best to deal with it. Oh, actually, we have a debuff Cleaver. I'm very familiar with this opening. It probably it probably wants to play stuff like Para and whatnot, and that is very scary. That is extremely scary, and I am not sure what we can do about it. How dare you pick a fight with me? You could try playing a Tywin. Let's try this. Well, I'm left with no we have two disruptive cleansers, kind of. Now, yeah, yeah, I saw this this uh, this pick going a mile away. Because I am very, very familiar with this style. This is a little difficult. Because I still need to pick a unit that's capable of killing Aiden. And a unit that still has decent tempo. You I mean, this is kind of workable. Uh, what else can we do?
LRK might do well actually. Let's just try this. Alright, let's have some fun. I feel very vulnerable, so who mitig I might be able to just like else sustain him. Like just take him out. To be honest, I actually think the answer here is to ban Aiden. Because this this is gonna protect his team way too much. So let's see what happens. I think he's hoping that his um, his Charlotte will be able to kill my Spectre Tenevia, but I'm quite tanky, so I hope that's not the case. You dare stop me? May you be punished by our brave. I, I yeah, I just don't think he has the juice to kill me, but I am ready to be okay. RNL is very bad. Uh oh, I'm defense broken. All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, never, never mind. Charlotte killed everything. That is um, that's kind of bad. Let's defy the odds. Leave OP as ever. Okay, I, I mean, I guess I should just ban Charlotte. I forgot she just defense breaks you for fun. good I think hmm, it's very hard to deal with that draft it's just very hard to deal with cleave in general this season it's pretty strong Okay, we're playing a very very similar game, so let's just let's just run it back. We pick Sharon to defense break Landy and protect us from stuns. Like I said, I know everything. Don't be afraid. I'm familiar with this draft and something tells me that this Landy is on injury. So we have to be a little careful. Let's avoid picking Biblis. I think picking Biblis is the trap here. I actually think Yufin is fine. Yufin, Yufin's a very strong carry here. Let's just go Yufin. No for, for some reason, I have a feeling this is Injury Landy again. Like, I feel like this draft is kind of a dead giveaway. Alright, Yufin's gonna carry, so yeah, let's give her the imprint. Yep. Ah uh, yes, it's, like it's Mr. It's Mr. Injury Holy Sack Landy again. So let's just let's just go here. Very good dual attack. Unfortunately, this Landy will not be feeding me because she cannot counter attack. So let's just rip into her. Bastion Shoe, that is pretty annoying. Oh, there goes my Yufin. Really 
and there goes 25% of his health bar before the game even started. Alright, here comes Injury Landy. Chunked my HP bar. So my Yuffie is one encounter away. Or one dual attack away from ready, so I'm probably just gonna fish for that dual attack with Laya, why not? Okay, he's giving me the buff, I appreciate that. And, oh, I guess my Yuffie is ready to win the game. And he, he's just done. <laughs> uh, well, that's not very satisfying. Let's just keep playing. Let's just make this an hour long segment. I'm currently only ranked 6. I was ranked 3 today, but uh, I kind of kind of lost a few too many games. I it's pretty hard right now. Like all the all the big names are coming up with the end of RTA, so yeah. It's a lot tougher than before. I hope I run into a Ranzio Cleaver at some point because I feel like Ranzio extremely popular. Most people don't know how to. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess we're fight. Oh, okay. Showtime. So, it's very, very scary what could happen here. I have no idea how I might get cleaved. We're gonna go see Lilius Aiden because there's hope. there's really not that many pickable oh, units. Okay. True okay, we're fighting Zio. Could this be could this be Zio Knockwall? Like when someone prevents these units, there's so many different styles they could be going for, and this is looking scary to be honest. This is looking pretty scary. But, hmm, let's go Flitica. Let's go Flitica. Let's, let's challenge the speed. Flitica and then what? This draft position is very difficult. I'm kinda down to play a Ravi to be honest. I'll take your life. Just because <laughs> just because these units there's no there when these units are banned, the game goes prehistoric. Like the game just reverts they back to bat. Oh, way. okay. So we'll apparently this guy is actually racing me. This lie is 300 speed. So he, he's basically telling me his lie is 300 speed and this is a cleave setup. And he's probably going to pick Jacko or something. And I am horrified. Okay, that's even scarier. Okay. How on earth are we getting out of this one? We're gonna ban Laya, and we're gonna hope that Zio can't kill anything. Oh, he's killing my Aiden for sure. This is a little bad. Th this is very, very bad. You dare defy me, your emperor. Those who deny their fate must suffer. Uh, it's a 300 speed Rhyseria. That is 
Okay, well he has speed in front, but yeah, we're dead. Oh. Cleave is very hard to deal with. My points are my my rank is basically based on how many cleavers I fight, honestly. I feel like cleave games, there's, there's not too much to learn. Okay, looks like we have a normal player. You lack discipline. Uh huh. Let's let's play Laia plus C Lilius because I feel like there's a lot of there there could be a lot of funny business going on here and C Lilius is very anti funny business. Too crazy. Let's uh, slow it down because this guy's being very, very aggressive. Let's uh, slow it down with mitigation. And let's pick Bologna because we don't want Bologna getting banned. Um, if, if this is the case, I can imagine him picking stuff like Elvira. Elvira plus like Lionheart or something, just because he has this thing, but we'll see. I fight with the power of all. Uh, nope. Aiden is pretty annoying, to be honest. My Bologna is not built very well. So let's see what happens. How long do you think you can double last? evasion? I am at a very, I, I am in a very, very, very dangerous position. Trina is typically good against mid, uh, against evasion. Hmm. I think I think Aiden is a bigger issue to be honest. I don't like the idea of his team having invincibility. And of course he bans my mitigation. This is gonna be extremely dicey. So my <sighs> This is rough. This is rough to say the least. Um We might be fine. Those in our way. Or we might get completely overwhelmed by the attack buff landing, but we'll see. The time has gone. Uh, let's go here. Okay, we pulled. We, we got a very bad dual attack. If that was the DPS, I could have chunked him, but unfortunately, we're not eating too good. Okay, that's a good salvo for us because we're gonna Sigurds and we also activate Karina. I'm not sure why he did that. I guess he didn't have a choice. Honestly, I would have gone for something else. 
So let's go into Rylid, pray he doesn't dodge. Yeah, I think he should have gone into something else. That's a little dangerous. We hit him because we stripped his invasion with C. Lilius. Yum. Uh huh. I can basically kill Andy here. If Lenny counters, she'll be ready. Focus. So if she counters, like the one is gonna. The one is also gonna proc. Which might make it fine. Have an S2 to boost Bologna ahead of Landy. Hopefully, those fire lilies does not drag her. Should be dead no matter what. Stage belongs to everyone. Right here. It's only natural that I'd win. Just a puppy. Okay, that was a not so clean game, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I think that okay. is about it for me. Let's go do some units. Basically. I think the most pigs units like Laya, Laya, nothing special, pretty standard, 1500 defense, good HP, good speed. Sharon, nothing special, just tanky. Kalana, not the best, not too tanky. But uh, yeah, it works. So yeah, thanks for watching.